So this is only your fourth swim session with me. We've pretty much been doing once a month for the last uh, three months. Just wanted to have a look at what your stroke looked like underneath the water. Um, also to kind of give you an idea of what you're really doing. Um, the first thing I see is we've worked a lot on getting you to turn your head and then start pulling your arm, which was good for helping you learn the stroke. But as you can see here, and I'll stop um, the video in a second so that you can really get a good look at it, is when you turn your head and you're not moving that pulling arm, your arm is almost in the way of your breathing. So I'd like you to start to move the head and the hand almost simultaneously now. That's also going to take a little bit of the pause out of your stroke, which will help you uh, maintain your body position in the water. Um, I think it'll be really helpful for you. So that's kind of like the next step because I think you've got the breathing timing down at this point. There you can see where you turn the head and then move the arm. So basically I'd like you to turn the head and move the arm at the same time. Um, here, just looking at your catch briefly, I'd like to see that elbow pointing more towards the wall, kind of like chicken wings. That'll allow you to get a little better catch on the water and really pull backwards. Um, that really only seems to be a problem with your left arm, and that's the arm that you're leaning on when you're breathing. And that's always important to look at when you're doing what, like if you're breathing or if it's to the side that you're breathing or to the arm that you're leaning on. Your kick's very steady. Um, your chin is down nicely, good body position. The faster you go, the higher up in the water your body will be, the easier it'll be to breathe. Here, looking at your stroke coming at the camera, you can see that the left arm tends to be a little deeper and I'm gonna stop this right here so you can see it. Um, really like it to be a little bit higher in the water, um, but that's pretty typical of the arm you lean on when you're breathing. Here with the right arm, actually very good. You notice a nice bend, um, straight forearm and hand together, so that's, that's looking very good there. Here I had you take the pull buoy, um, really because I wanted you to work on keeping that extension. As you go, I'd like you to think about really pushing that pull buoy forward in the water um, towards the other wall, like you want to touch the wall at the other end of the pool with it. Um, you've got good hip rotation. What's happening is when you've got this pull buoy, you're starting that catch with your left arm the arm you lean on when you're breathing, you're starting it from a better position and notice that it's much more shallow in the water. Um, still would like to see that elbow kicking out towards the wall a little bit more. You tend to want to slip it in next to your body, but starting from this position definitely fixes um, how deep your arm is in the water. So that's something you can work on over the next uh, couple of months as well. But uh, definitely good progress with your catch. Here's just from the other side so you can really uh, see your breathing. Again, you can really see the, the arm kind of in the way of the head when you turn to breathe. And I gave you a still shot of this too in your email just so that you can really see it. But the arm and the head should both be working together here. Um, you're definitely ready for that next stage. If you feel like your breathing's getting late, then go back to turning your head and then pulling the arm. But ideally now, I'd like to see you turning the head and pulling the arm at the same time. I have no doubt the more you swim, the better that you will get with this and the more comfortable you'll be. Notice how you like to push down on the pull buoy. Really work on keeping that arm extended high and pushing forward. Notice the elbow dropping.
Here's just one more time uh, with the pull buoy from the front. You can see how much shallower your uh, arms are in the water on both sides. It really helps to start from a good position. So last but not least, I wanted to get a few of you swimming. Um, and this right now is pretty much your best swim form. Um, we were still working on a few things here. Like notice when you're breathing, you really need to keep that left arm extended. Also, I'd like to see you breathing ideally on pretty much every stroke um, as you go forward. Every stroke to the right, that is. Um, as you go in the summer, hopefully you can work on breathing on the other side a little bit just to help you even out your stroke but um, here when you're not breathing your right arm is a little bit shallow in the water but when you're breathing it's perfect so this is how we finished up the swim session um, this was you really swimming pretty strong um, you had a good catch on both sides the only thing really here that I would change is getting that head in sync with the pulling arm when you're breathing. Um, your kick is steady, your body position's good, you're opening up your hips. You don't like to rotate onto your right side as much on the non-breathing stroke, and I would recommend doing that rotating onto your right hip. So you just move through the water a little bit easier. Notice how you can stay kind of flat. Um, but that's something that will come with time for sure. But overall, your swim is really amazing considering that you've only been swimming for three months. I'm really happy with the progress you've made, and I can't wait to see what you do over the summer.